Welcome to another thrilling production by the Cyber and You team. This is Keith. If you're like me, you've always wondered, in the past, or more recently forgotten, how to take a screenshot on Mac OS. Well, we're going to go over that. Now, this is uh, for the new Mac OS version, which is Mojave. A new keyboard shortcut uh, was introduced in this latest update. So what is it? Well, if you hit the command button, shift, and the number five at the same time, a capture or screenshot menu bar appears. Now, we've got a variety of options here. We've got capture the entire screen. We've got capture selected window, selected portion. You even got some record options for entire screen and selected portion. We've also got some options here. So we're gonna go over the options before we mess around with some of these screen captures. Let's take a look at them. So as you can see, your default save option is your desktop. Now you can change that to whatever you want. Uh, let's say you wanna change the documents, you can go ahead and do that. Um, for all practical purposes, we're gonna leave it desktop just to show you guys that the captures or screenshots um, are easily appearing on my desktop. Now, timer. Now the default is none. I'm not sure why five seconds is selected right now, but we'll go ahead and make that none. Well, let's open that back up. And then you've got some uh, microphone options, which are obviously for the um, video recording captures. So I've got my built-in Mac Book Pro microphone and then my Yeti stereo microphone, but uh, we're not gonna mess with that. So let's go ahead and Click out of there. All right, let's capture the entire screen. As the name implies, you left click that, you're gonna take a picture, screenshot, capture, whatever you wanna call it, of your entire current screen. Left click. Now the thumbnail for your most recent screenshot is gonna appear on the bottom right. Now if you just swipe that away, whoops, swipe that away, it's gonna appear on my default save location which is my desktop as I showed you guys. And click that open. It's exactly what we're staring at here, so. All right, now we're gonna hit the Command, Shift, and the number five again. I'm gonna bring up that menu bar. All right, let's, let's do Capture Selected Window. Now let's open up something first and close that. Right, I wanna take a picture of this web page with this funny dog. Let's hit Command, Shift, Five again, and then we're going to hit Capture Selected Window. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to left click this Google Chrome web page. Boom! All right, there it is. Took a picture of that dog. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and minimize that. We're going to hit the Command button, Shift Five, one more time. Uh, let's let's click Capture Selected Portion. All right, here it gives you a draggable window. So you would just mess with the dimensions to your liking, depending on what you're trying to take a picture of. I can mess around and just take a picture of my uh, hard drives here. And we're gonna hit capture, boom. All right, let's hit command shift five again. If you wanna mess around with those timer options, We'll do this with a quick video record just to show you guys. We'll hit five seconds. We're gonna hit record the entire screen. I'm gonna left click here. It's gonna give me a countdown from five seconds. And we're recording the entire screen. Let's move some stuff around. Boom. All right, to stop that, we're gonna hit this little stop button up here. And in similar fashion, the video thumbnail is in the bottom right. Let's swipe it away again. Or you can simply left click it and it'll bring it up that way as well. I double click this and open it just to see if it. All right, yep, move my mouse. Threw some screenshots around, did its thing. All right, guys, and that's it. That's how you uh, use the new keyboard shortcut on the Mac OS Mojave. 
As always, if you guys found this video useful or enjoyed it, um, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Also, follow us on Twitter at CyberNU1 for the latest tutorials, blogs, reviews, and much more. Thank you for watching.